So welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Odd Man 105, aka the Odd One here. And in today's video, we're on the hunt for a rare Sentinel multi-tool rifle. I'll piss off, lady. We're on the hunt for a rare Sentinel multi-tool rifle that has the potential to do over 51,000 damage once fully upgraded. Now, before we begin, I want to give huge shout-outs to Milwaukee Scott and to hero to you for locating this multi-tool thank both of you guys very much now when you find this multi-tool it's going to be a b class however once fully upgraded to an s class this thing will wreck face like nobody's business now you have a couple of options for upgrading your multi-tool depending on your play style okay if you want to play this legit and you're looking for this multi-tool legit then ensure that you have about 50,000 nanites to upgrade this thing from a b class to an s class okay However, if you only want the multi-tool as quickly as possible and you want it to do as much damage as quickly as possible and you don't want to be concerned with farming for nanites or making purchases, then you have the option to go into your difficulty settings and change all purchases to free. This is a legit gameplay mechanic in the game. If this is what you want to do. Again, if this suits your playstyle and you don't want to be bothered with purchases and farming or anything like that. So let's back out of here. We're not going to accept changes. Now, the very first thing that you need to do before stepping through a portal is disable your multiplayer and set your session type to invite only. This way, no other player can come in from behind and steal the multi-tool from you, okay? Because once it's gone, it's going to be gone for a while. Next, you want to create a manual restore point just in case something goes wrong. The game has been known to crash when players travel through portals, so something else to keep in mind. Next, enter the glyphs on screen right now into any portal. Okay, so now we're ready. See you on the other side. Next, once you arrive at the planet, you'll know that you're in the right place because of all of the com balls and because the name of the planet is Four Squared Sentinel Rifle, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Now, what we want to do is get on our ship and fly to the coordinates. Next, you want to head to the coordinates that are posted on your screen right now. That's negative 21.75 and positive 110.98. These are the coordinates to the abandoned camp with the multi-tool that we're seeking. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the location and some other players built a base here. So what you need to do is reload your manual restore point right now. Let's do that. This will ensure that the multi-tool appears as a rifle and not a pistol. Okay guys, now this next step is kind of important. You do have the option of removing a player base if, and this is if, the base is impeding your ability to access either the multi-tool or the harmonic interface needed to break the seal for the multi-tool. What you need to do is look for that base's computer, which is up here on top of this hill. And you can access it. It says logged in as guest. And right here, the first option is to report base as inappropriate or offensive. Now, because I can access the multi-tool and the harmonic interface, I'm going to leave the base where it is. However, if you have difficulty accessing either one, you can report the base. What you'll need to do next, just to show you what the step is, continue. Now, the game will ask you to take a screenshot. And once you take the screenshot, the entire base will disappear for your save iteration. So, because I have access to both of the items that we're seeking, we don't need to remove the base, but you do have that option. So we'll leave the base where it is. All right, let's go get this multi-tool. Okay, now both the multi-tool and the harmonic interface are located inside this player base right here. Now, here's the rifle. As I mentioned before, if this base is obstructing your ability to access the multi-tool and a harmonic interface. You have the option to have the base deleted, okay, from your save iteration. Now, also, I have a video on my channel on how to bypass base trolls, so if you're interested, here's a link in the description down below, and there's a link for that video right here on how to 
bypass base trolls whenever you encounter a problem like this. Okay, now here's the harmonic interface underneath this floor. But again, since I can access this, I'll leave the base where it is. Okay, let's access the harmonic interface. Okay, lockdown in progress. We got it. Rejected, rejected, yada, yada, yada. Okay, scan memory registers. Okay, there's our math puzzle. Let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, so the seal has been broken. Let's deactivate multi-tool seal. And that's it. Now we should be able to pick up the multi-tool. And again, this is the only reason that I'm leaving the base in place here, because otherwise I'd remove it. Okay, access weapon terminal. And there it is. Look at that cool rifle. Now, as I mentioned, this is a B class, but as you can see, Two of its supercharged slots are grouped together. Once we fully upgrade this thing, okay, you'll see all four supercharged slots in a cube formation. This thing will absolutely wreck face, so let's compare it. Okay, and we want to take this multi-tool for free because either way, it's better than what we've got. So, yes please, we'll take it. Alright, so now we have this cool Sentinel rifle. Awesome. Okay, so we've arrived at the multi-tool vendor at a random space station, and we've just completed upgrading our multi-tool. Now remember, to upgrade multi-tools, you must be at a normal space station. This cannot be done from an outlaw station. So as you guys can see, we now have a fully upgraded S-Class Sentinel multi-tool with all four of its supercharged slots grouped together in a cube form. This will give us the highest possible damage potential of any multi-tool in the game hands down. With the correct weapon, blueprints, and upgrades for that weapon, this thing could potentially hit over 50,000 damage. And I am absolutely stoked about that. I can't wait to upgrade this thing, but you guys are going to have to wait till the next video when I show you exactly what X-Class upgrades you're going to need and how to install them in your multi-tool to get the most damage possible. So stay tuned for that video. But with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, bringing you one more tutorial on finding what is possibly the best multi-tool in No Man's Sky. Hands down, full stop, end of discussion. So if you guys found this video informative or entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105, and I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.